Hi Eric, sorry about the confusion in the first video. Hopefully this one will clarify things a bit. Uh, first, I cut out this paper, uh, and you can see now it's eight and a half. And this way is also eight and a half. Well, a little bit off, but pretty close. Okay, so uh, the first thing we're gonna do is find about where the center is, because um, since our diameter is eight, it's gonna take up almost the entire page. So we need to be um, as close to the center as possible because we only have about a half inch room for error there. So let me show you how to get the center of the page. Since it's eight and a half, um, half of eight would be four and half of a half would be a quarter. So we wanna go a four and a quarter um, from one side to the other. So here's four. Here's four and a half. I'm gonna go about four and a quarter and make a little mark. And then same thing down on the bottom. We're gonna go about four and a quarter. So um, the center this way is along that line and it's four and a quarter going down. So it's about right there. Because again, this way is eight and a half as well, so halfway would be four and a quarter. Let me scoot it down so you can see the whole page. There you go. So again, let me go over that real quick again. Um, to get the center of the page, I went four and a quarter uh, along the top edge, marked it. I went four and a quarter, oops, four and a quarter along the bottom edge, which is about right there, marked it. And so this is the middle, this splits it in half uh, going uh, long ways. And then I measured four and a quarter going this way. Now if it, another thing you could do is fold it in half twice and then find out where the middle is. So this should be pretty close. Uh, what I mean by is like fold it this way, crease it, open it up, fold it this way, crease it, and then where they cross should be right about where the middle is if you're lining it up. So that's another way you can find the middle as well. It's up to you. Um, but from there, we want to measure eight centimeters going across for the first diameter. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the center of, of the paper right at four so that it's the center of, of, the, uh, of the circle we're about to make. And then I'm going to mark from here all the way to eight. And there's my first diameter. Like I said, it's gonna take up pretty much the whole page or pretty close to the whole page. Then you get your compass. I bought this at the 99 cent store right around the corner. Um, and you measure from, put your point, you got a point and the marker. You put your point on the center and you spread it out until you get to the edge. I've got a little, come in a little bit. There we go, and be as accurate as possible. Okay, and then you need to m tighten this if you have a tightener, or do your best to keep it as uh, motionless as possible. Try to keep it right there. And if you do this, you should just barely get it on the page. Because again, we only have about a half inch of wiggle room to work with. And you should be able to go all the way around just like that for a circle with radius of, of uh, eight, okay? So it should get close to the edge on you know the top, bottom, and the left and the right, but as long as your center is pretty darn close, you should be able to fit it on there, okay? But you're, you're right, it is gonna be really close, and if you don't have the center pr uh, pretty much right on, then it's gonna be uh, hard to fit it on there. Okay, then you do not change, make sure it stays the same, it's still the radius, you're gonna put your pointer right here and you're gonna mark off an arc right there. Then you're gonna put the pointer on that mark and mark off the next one. Then your pointer at that mark and mark off the next one and you should be right about, um, ideally you should be right where these two meet. And it was a little bit off on my radius, but it's close enough. Okay, let's keep going around. Put your, put your pointer on the intersection there. 
And then, of course, this one should line up or pretty close to line up. Let me try that again. I like to hold the pointer so it doesn't move. And it was a little bit off, but pretty close. Okay? Um, so these intersection points, there should be six of them. They split uh, the circle into six equal or pretty close to equal parts. Um, and then we're going to connect those. with the diameter and they should get close or pretty be pretty darn close to meeting in the center of this of this circle mine's a little bit off um, see you can see this is a little bit off right there but not too bad and that's how you're gonna start it um, by drawing in those three diameters and hopefully they meet somewhere close to the middle you might have to fudge it a little bit um, because again, there's a little human error going on here, but we get the idea of the picture. Okay, then it says to make a diameter, a circle that's concentric, which means it has the same center as this one, um, but it only has three inches in diameter. So half of three would be one and a half. So we'd put our center at one and a half, and we'd go from zero to three. That's the new diameter of the uh, inside circle. So because that's the new diameter of the inside circle, uh, I want to make sure that I set my new radius. It's going to be smaller. And my, my center was a little off, so I went with this center slightly off, but you know, it's pretty darn close. It's not, not going to be perfectly accurate, but it should be close. Uh, again, I'm going to tighten this so I don't move it as, or I have a little chance to move it. And I'll try to draw Ah, got to hold this still. There we go. And so that's the circle that's concentric to the big circle, but it only has a radius of three. Now, the last part says to connect where the diameters meet the smaller circle, connect those six points um, in a row so that they make a hexagon. So that means we're talking about these points right here. And we're gonna connect them to make, uh, with the straight line to make a hexagon. And that's how you make your, uh, your construction that they're asking you to make. Please let me know if this is still confusing, if you need me to clarify any part of this. But hopefully this is a little bit more clear and accurate um, than my previous one, okay? Sorry about that, Eric, and uh, let me know if you need any more help. Thanks.